Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a walkthrough now um, to test this inventory menu. Um, each of the buttons has now been updated, so each of them has got their own sound. And from the canvas, the inventory script, this one's choose gun, this one's choose axe, etc. This one's choose bat. Okay, so I'm just going to put the audio back on and press play. So I'm now going to press, uh, let's say, number one for the knife. I'm going to right click so I've got the knife. And bear in mind, I'm, I'm still using the one, two, three, four at the moment. Uh, that will become obsolete soon. Uh, and now I can press the I for the menu. And so when I change to the bat, I've got the sound and the actual weapon changes on the screen there. Okay, over to the axe. Now obviously you don't see the gun. Back to the knife again. And to the bat. Uh, now if you want it in your game so that you do actually see the weapon change like that in the screen, obviously you can do. But what I'm going to be showing you how to do next in the next video is how to get the characters to put the weapon away before you go into the inventory menu. And then you can change your weapon. And when you come out you right click and you have that weapon in your hand. Okay, but overall it's working fine at the moment. The batteries will be getting to work soon in the later video and the health will be getting that to work as well later. So if I press I at the moment, you'll notice that no matter what weapon he has, he actually plays the knife animation. That's the reason why I want him to put the, the weapon away um, before going into the inventory menu. But that in itself is easy enough to fix. Um, all you need is a boolean. Um, that's let me just uh, stop this a second. Go into the script. All you need basically is a boolean in your weapon script that says even when you press mouse zero that if you're in the inventory, only do this if you're not in the inventory. All right, so relatively easy to do if you want to do that yourself.